And there we go, back to Solani, where we are going to be studying all of these brand new, oh, okay, oh dear, oh, there's a lionfish. <gasps> okay, that would be really amazing to get if we were, you know, working with the sea trawlers, but as though I am going to do that, absolutely heck no, heck no. Even if, okay, look, lionfish are their own problems too, so we'll discuss more of that later. But hello everyone, and welcome, welcome back to our adventures here in Sulani, the brand new aquatic DLC of Let's Build a Zoo, where yes, we were not here just a moment ago. Oh dear, all right, well, guess what? We've already got people coming to see what's going on. <laughs> Critical Choice, Climate Politics, Denying the Facts for Profit by James Inhofe. Hi, I'm a senator in the USA and I put business first. All this climate change nonsense is simply not good for business. Coral bleaching is apparently the result of the temperature going up a degree or two, but obviously that isn't true. We can reverse coral bleaching by painting them back to their former color. I will pay you a hefty sum if you can promise to help repaint the coral, but tell no one it got bleached. Thanks. Absolutely heck not. <laughs> That's an easy morality choice, you would think, but uh, it is definitely one that people apparently struggle with in real life. Oh, look at all the people who are here, by the way! Are you guys here to witness the glory that are our beautiful starfish and our amazing, wonderful clownfish? Hello, everyone! I think it's starting to get a little bit crowded in here. Um, we have Mandy the starfish and Lou the starfish, yes! Okay, so that's male and female starfish, and I have learned so much more about clownfish biology and the way that they actually shift from being male when they are young to female when they are older and look at this we just have a pregnant star or pregnant clownfish i am so happy about that okay all right well clearly i'm very excited and there is a lot going on right now <laughs> but let's come on in and let's see what's happening so our ticket price is too low they say but I, I mean, okay, look, I'll raise it by one. I want people to come in here. Um, and we do need to go ahead and have more room to be able to put in the reef so our animals are happy. <gasps> look, I think they have all of their food right now. Oh, that's so cool. All right, uh, and we also need to see what animals might be available. It's interesting because I'm noticing with the aquatic animals, you don't have the option to like get them from a rescue area, which totally makes sense. But we do, of course, no, go away, evil fishing boat. Good fishing boat. We do, of course, have the option to get them from this fishing boat where the seahorses and the starfish are still available. Um, let's go ahead and rescue this seahorse. And I think we can have a ton of starfish. So let's go ahead and rescue that one too. They're going to go temporarily into this enclosure, which I hope we're going to put a new reef enclosure over here soon. Also, let me go ahead and move uh, this. This is actually... We could make it look like an adorable little sort of like fishing hut or the hut on a pier, which would be really exciting for the storeroom so that we can make sure that it kind of fits the theme. But we'll have to review that in just a little bit here. <clears throat> in any case, welcome back, everyone. So, yes, I know we were going to work on having all of those purple peafowl go ahead and land in our wonderful brand new sandbox zoo, the Labarkatory! Dun dun dun! And it's not really a sandbox zoo, if you ask me, considering the fact that we have to unlock all of the things that go into it, other than money. But, you know, apparently I might have deep pockets with this and that sort of person. We'll just have to roll with that. So we can actually go ahead and we could spend more time over here, which would be really fun. But why I want to go ahead and unlock at least a few more of the aquatic animals before we start working on mixing and matching their genes and splicing them up. And speaking of those genes, I wanted to do a little peek because I had my suspicions and I think it's true and it looks like it's true. It looks like we actually do have the same uh, limitation on the variants with the aquatic species as we did with the dinosaurs, where there are not um, variants, like 10 variants for each animal. There's just the animal that you get. And I think that's okay because it, on, on the one hand, I would love to see variants for all of the clownfish, like one with the clown nose, for instance, that'd be hilarious. And on the other hand, I can see why we don't have that option because it takes I mean, I've literally been playing for years. It takes literally years <laughs> to go ahead and keep up with um, being able to unlock all the variants for the base game. 
But I think that'll also help us because that means that the time we spend here in the aquatic zoo will primarily be around research and exploration of finding all of the new species out in the open oceans, which are going to become a lot easier if we can start upgrading our boats. So let's see how Raymond, our researcher, has been doing. Because I think there is a boat upgrade we saw. Yeah, the boat radar. Yes. Okay, so let's hold out and let's actually wait for the boat radar. Where should I get the terrarium store right now? Hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to get the terrarium store right now because that sounds really cool. Ooh, now we have surveillance we can put down. The farm processor to process crops. Well, I'm not, I don't have a wetland farm yet, so we're just going to have to think about that for now. Uh, the cold water enclosure, and we can unlock the warehouse eventually. So we're getting there. I think that the terrarium is going to be so cute, though. I just love the idea of this terrarium store. We definitely are going to have to add this to the list of things to try to rebuild in zoo crafting and our Sims world and also like the, the planet zoo area. I've actually been thinking for our Sims stuff to um, go ahead and maybe try making like a laboratory world where we could have a whole bunch of those animals that we just have like mass chaos with. And maybe we could have um, like just an entire neighborhood that's dedicated to our scientific research. And like the different houses have the different crossbreeds we've made. It would be different than all of my other Sims experiences, but I kind of think it'd be fun if we could like go in and just like see all of those creatures that we've crossbred living out a life. That would be really fun. Just to have like a physical location of it. Probably that's better to put in zoo crafting though. But in any case, I ramble, I ramble. Let's see, um, I want to get the reef down soon. How much is this land? Oh, only 300? All right, let's expand over here. And let's get the, maybe the clownfish and the starfish and the seahorse moved into like a really big reef that just stretches on and on. Yeah, I think, in fact, let's, let's not be timid because we know we can expand a ton. So let's do this. So we can have a huge reef area. Ta -da -da! And that's actually going to be, oh, hello. Oh, it's George Lucas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, finding annulment. I used to own a company that made animated films. I had to sell it as a part of my divorce settlement, but I miss those days. Can you pay homage to one of their animations by putting a blue tang in the same tank as a clownfish? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, we'll have to work on that later. But here is the new reef enclosure. So let's actually move all of the animals that are over here. Can I, do I have to move them like one by one? Oh, there we go, thank goodness. So I wanna move them all over here. <gasps> Look at how much happier they're gonna be. They've got all of the space for being little starfish and being little clownfish. I love it. All right, and then let's make sure that they have their uh, whatever small amounts of enrichment we can provide now. Little balls that they can go ahead and shove around. Hopefully I can get them the rubber duckies soon because that sounds precious. Um, oh, and the coral! I completely forgot that we just got this coral! Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. Oh, building our own coral reef. Yes! I'm totally here for that. Uh, also, let's check the ocean to see what everybody is like doing with their discoveries today out in the open waters so is that good boat that's bad boat they have starfish good boat has another seahorse and clownfish let's go ahead and get that other seahorse we'll put it right in here people are excited about how cheap the tickets are you're welcome um and i probably should put in more ways to make money off these people before i go ahead and get myself too comfy and cozy with the uh, whole idea of you know adding a ton of decorations into this habitat so let's see there's also saltwater and open ocean habitats we can build now but we haven't found any animals related to that so <gasps> look how cute this terrarium store is oh my gosh this is adorable this is so adorable. Okay, this this needs to have like a center area because I love the idea that people can come over and they can like make their own terrariums. Um, maybe move it over here. Yes. Yay! Have at least one bacteria farm in our zoo and then this person will be back. Interesting. Uh, Santos, if your work ethic is that low, I, I, I don't, I really don't want to hire you. Like here, I'm going to hire you for the minimum. I feel badly doing this. Oh, that's right. <gasps> Wait, did we fire? That's right. We fired someone else. Okay, so we're going to fire this employee. We're going to pay the severance and everything. And then we're going to look for some new staff, which cost money. But like, 
I, I, I want somebody happy and cheerful at the terrarium store. <laughs> Where they can welcome you in and be like, oh my goodness, like, you're gonna make such amazing, beautiful things. Just wait. Yay, and we have a new animal! Webster, the starfish, and mouse, or excuse me, Webster, the starfish, or uh, Webster, the seahorse, and mouse, the starfish. There we go. Mouse is such a cute name for a starfish. All right. Hopefully people will enjoy our little terrarium thing, but I gotta hire somebody first. Ooh, current applicant. Dominic. Hello, Dominic. You have zero work ethic. No, thank you. I'm, I'm a little picky about that. Just like I'm going to be picky about my staff. But also, I don't know about having a geneticist. I guess we can do crossbreeds now. That's true. Because we don't need to worry about having... Oh, actually, that is nice. Because we can go ahead and start making like clownfish seahorses now. While we're going ahead and spending time trying to like discover more species. We don't have to spend literally years unlocking all of those variants. So on the one hand, one day I hope that this is moddable because I would actually learn how to mod things if I could. <laughs> this is to add in variants for all of these animals. Uh, and on the other hand, I really love the idea that we could go ahead and make a clownfish seahorse right now. So maybe I do need to have a staff member come and get hired. Ooh, and a new applicant, let's see. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Palma. Oh, Suzanne, welcome. I will go ahead and close this position because that is definitely what I want. Nice shopkeeper for here. How's the staff going? No applications yet. Wow. Apparently getting your hands on a geneticist is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought, right? Uh, all right, let's see. Well, this place is starting to get really trashed, quite literally. So we need to go ahead and recruit ourselves a janitor. Wow, I guess you you really need to find a lot of people to help you like maintain this place, huh? And then I sort of think we should get a second fish keeper sooner than later, but maybe we don't need one right away. Uh, all right, and then let's see. Whoops. All right, end of week summary. We have new people. Welcome. Welcome, employees. Goodbye, money. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that we are going to need... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that new aquatic animal. I am not getting from the, the like, bad people, though. I'm not going to be going ahead and working with them to snag... Oh, dear. Well, I'm not going to be go working with them to snag an animal from a fish trawler. That's just not the way we do things. Also, the little seahorse. I would love to learn more about what it actually eats. Um, for now, let's try phytoplankton. Maybe, okay, do you like that? Okay, maybe in a mix of that. Zooplankton? Maybe, okay, that would be saturation. And then algae? Whoops, okay. Um, let me help buying a bus on using credit. I think you can grow your business if you had more buses. I know that they cost a lot, but how about I lend you the money? I can give you the money right now, yes, but there's some profit there for me. But I really think it's worth, uh, uh get, get a loan and get a bus instantly. I think I'm okay. I know we're not making a ton of money, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we're okay. I just need to be like a little bit, there we go. Yay, there we go. And now we've got the seahorses all lined up. So they're gonna have a good amount of food. Um, and we have a staff member going ahead and taking care of the terrarium store. <gasps> Look at the cute little terrariums we sell. That's so cute. So you can, oh my gosh, we could grow baby coral and seagrass. <gasps> because all of the shops that we have in Let's Build a Zoo, you can actually like get most of the main material for. And so we could grow our own seagrass. That would be so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we could actually grow those. That's going to be really fun. You guys know how much I love the farming. All right. Well, with all of that said, though, maybe we do need to have, like, more snacks. <gasps> like a little fish snack area where people can come and get just a few snackies. Um, and also restrooms, now that I think about it. And it wouldn't hurt to have a gift stand, I guess. Um, maybe we'll have that down here. Oh, hello, person! Here, you can have, like, a lot of... Like, look, if you work for me and you're in a good mood, then chances are, like, if you're just, like, happy, chances are you're gonna get a good raise. Just putting that out there, right? All right, whoops. And then let's put a cola place over here. We'll swap these out for like shops people can actually eat at when we have those available. For now, we're gonna make like a little fish bite snack zone over here. We better include a trash can as well or else we're gonna have some problems. Ooh, and the benches. Because people will probably be a little more tired on this side, I would think. 
There we go. I need to be careful. I'm so used to having literally, literally like almost endless amounts of money <laughs> that I might put down too much decoration and like too much of uh, all of the expensive things before I remember. Oh yeah, oh the Octo statue. <laughs> oh, and my aquarium arches, of course. I mean, look at how cool that is. How could you not think this is just the most amazing, not the most amazing place like in the world if you get to walk through these aquarium arches? Like legitimately. I need to be a little more careful again with the money, but I could not resist that. That was just too fun. And then we do have like a nice octopus. Oh, that's so cool. We could have just like a little decoration there. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then we've got lots of applications for janitor. Oh yeah, and I was putting down the bins and got distracted. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's do the seal bin again. And we'll put one right here. And then we should probably put another one just over here for now. There we go. And then one back here for now, just to make sure we cover all the bases. And it's nice to note that we don't have to keep the little like water filters going because we're literally already making a habitat full of water, it seems. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the applicants for janitor, let's take a little peeksy. Jacqueline, work ethic, not high. Uh, okay, well, you know, ooh, here you go, Ulysses, welcome. Uh, I'm not gonna close the position because I think we could use a few janitors. But if you are not like, if you don't have high work ethic, I don't really have time to train you. I'm trying to like save the world right now. Hector, you seem awesome. We'll hire you. Jill? Nope. Isaac? Eh. Eh. Not really sold on either of you. Not really sold on you. Jer? I mean... Okay, I think we'll hire Hugh. I probably... And then... Uh, Jer, you seem nice. I just... I don't know if I need that many janitors. And... Like, that would actually probably... Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's... No, no. Ah! Okay. Oh, dear. Now there's a new task again. <laughs> Jody Benson. Fantastical fish. I love aquariums and fantastical creatures under the sea. Take it from me. It's substantially better down where it's wetter, but it would be even better if you could make ten hybrids, splice together ocean animals in unique ways, and blow my mind with your scientific discoveries. Or er, creativity. I want my dreams to become part of your world. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> Oh dear, and now we're out of food for the animals. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, ooh, puffer fish, you guys. Okay, we definitely have to get the puffer fish. All right, phew. And then uh, let's go ahead and close the position of janitor. And I am a little bit worried about the position of geneticist not being filled if we're going to be able to go ahead and make this happen. But we'll just have to be patient. Whoa, holy moly, I am not getting a moment to rest before we're just getting, like, tossed around by the seas of so much different news. Community oceanography. Mapping sea life together. I have spent my whole life as an ocean explorer. I was born on the sea and I will probably die there. I was a seaman even before I was born. If you can buy me a seabed radar, I can scan the oceans and share my findings with the oceanography community. You know what? That sounds really amazing. Except we don't have a lot of money. And I need to get food for our animals. But I want, I want, I don't want the ocean to be mysterious. I want to see what's going on. So I just made a terrible decision for our animals, I think. Just, just, we're going to have to just really hang in here now. I think I might have to bring up the cost of our tickets. <laughs> but everybody is buying our tickets. Isn't that a good thing? Except the, the, the not good thing is that we're not like, you know, we're not making a lot of money. But, uh... We'll just have to see how it goes. Also, Raymond has actually done enough research now that we can upgrade the boat! Woo! And the fishing boat can get another upgrade so it can catch more fish per day. <gasps> okay, we should probably work on that. And then we could do farming, but we have to have... See? I told you guys having that morality would be a good thing. Because now we have more morality. Um, If we can go ahead and... like To get more morality, we can get the farming going, which would be awesome. Let's see. Coastal enclosures floor pack. Let's save up our research points with Raymond, the researcher, to get the more fish per day bonus, because I think that... Oh, look at this! Boat radar upgraded. Starting tomorrow, fishing boats will be able to find new aquatic animals. Yay! Good job, Raymond. All right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my head is literally spinning from all of the stuff that we have gone ahead and discovered. I'm going to go ahead and grab this puffer fish. Uh, does it go in here? I think it goes in here. We'll toss it in here. 
<laughs> and I'm so excited because the popper fish is one of the things I wanted to make hybrids of the most. So that's going to be quite delightful. What might not be delightful is the fact that I think I have just possibly run us into the ground uh, when it comes to income. Oh, geez. And now people don't want to come into. Okay, 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 okay. Here, 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 here. $30, $30. I would rather get people who arrive in than not. <laughs> So I'm going to see if I have possibly sunk the ship early by uh, making everything so cheap everywhere. Maybe I should go ahead and uh, we should we should increase the price uh, on everything for the... Oh my gosh, is this fish and chips? I didn't even notice this is a fish snack vendor with literal fish. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, and then we're going to increase the profit on the drinks. And maybe increase, well, if we, we don't really need to increase the caffeine because that actually makes people, um, that makes people go ahead and explore more. But there's not a lot to explore just yet, is there? All right, guys, we can do this. We can totally do this. Do I have a missing geneticist? Yes. Are we kind of low on money? Yes. But we have beautiful aquarium arches, which I'm very happy with, and a terrarium shop, which is adorable. And we now have our seahorses, we have our little Nemo fish, aka our clownfish, and we have our starfish, and we've got a puffer fish on the way. Those are entirely the animals that I was the most excited to go ahead. Oh, nature calls. Oh, dear. Um, you know, I think people would be happy if we had a restroom, wouldn't they? Huh. Yes, I cannot blame anybody. I, I I think that having a restroom, I mean, that should be a basic. I, I've been telling you guys since the get-go, since the very, very, very earliest episodes of our adventures, never forget your guest bladders. And since it's only $100, I think we're, we're good there. All right, phew. <laughs> it's the end of day, and hopefully we haven't completely sunk this ship. I should probably start focusing on making sure that we're ship-shaped before I take off on the high seas of adventure, but I can't help it because it's all just so ever exciting. But if you guys could, do please leave a like to toss some treats to our little fishies. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, whoa, stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, yes, we can get the upgrade now.